song back in 1993. And it's the answer to a question that's been on my mind for a very long time. And in, uh, back about, oh, two or three years ago, I was sitting there listening to uh, a whole bunch of 50s and 60s music that I kind of grew up with. And I was thinking about that song, Lonelyville. And a prequel came to mind. I mean, Lonelyville is the answer to a question, but I never asked a question. So in 2019, I wrote the song that asked the question, taking in, uh, inspiration from the music I grew up with. my divorce, I, started, I picked up this thing again and started playing. But I had five kids, and they took a lot of time up, coaching and teaching and disciplining and all that other stuff that parents have to do. Uh, but after the divorce, I got hooked up with a bunch of musicians. 
And we started doing concerts around Northern Illinois to raise money for uh, various charities. Over a period of about three and a half years, we raised about $80,000. So it was a good crew of people. And I wrote a song about us. We were called the Back Porch Company. And uh, the song was about each member of the organization, and there were about 12 of us. So it was a kind of long song. But after it broke up, it didn't make a lot of sense to keep singing that song, but I kind of liked the arrangement. So I turned it into a story about me, my guitar, my friends, and our favorite hobby, drinking. It goes a little bit like this.
drummer for about uh, five or six years. His name was Randy Brody. And we worked on a bunch of my originals, and he kept saying, hey, Bob, I've got some poems I want you to take a look at and maybe put music to. Well, unfortunately, Randy passed away in 2019. And I was helping his family clean out his apartment, and we found a box of poems. So I took a look through the box of poems, and I found one that kind of struck my soul and reminded me of Andy, Randy. So I put it to music, and we used it at his memorial service. The thing about this poem is I wish I could tell whether it was reality or a fantasy because, man, it's very romantic. It's that. The name of the poem was On a Flat Rock. Randy wrote it in 1975. And I put it to music in 2019. On a flat rock we sat Woods stretching out around us On a flat Rock we sat. We were one for a while. We explored the woods. We explored each other. We could not move. We could only smile. The air was clean. We held each other close. We listen. There's a tree. Who knows how lucky we are? His branches wave as our arms embrace. The air is cold, but the warmth inside. The wind tapped his baton and the leaves played for us. The birds joined in with the squirrels to add a chorus. And our breathing stopped as we listened. On a flat rock we sat. Out around us on a flat rock, we sat. We were one for a while. We explored the woods, we explored each other. We could not move, we could only smile. The air was clean, we held each other close. To add a chorus And our breathing stopped as we listened And our breathing stopped as we listened And thank you, Randy, for being so prolific with your poetry. So, as I said, I'm getting up there in the years. And one of the things that I found myself thinking about is, how are people going to remember me? Well, I had started writing a song back in 2017 about the songs that I had written and whether they, had any, whether they continued to have any relevance. Then I realized that it didn't matter because the songs all had relevance to me and I'm the one who's singing them. 
But in any case, I took that so original song, which wasn't very good. I only did it once. I wrote it for that challenge that I mentioned earlier tonight. Uh, but I've changed it around a lot because what's, uh, what it's evolved into is besides being about the songs that I've written, it's also become a song about my life and how I'm looking at it and whether I've done what I wanted to do. I call this song Legacy. Sometimes the fingers don't always do what they're told. that I was a part of back in 2017. And uh, I had gotten five of the six songs done and I was struggling to come up with a, the, my last song. And uh, I always wanted to write a song about trains. But I could never come up with a story to fit that thing. I don't know what it was. It just never worked for me until 2017. And the last week before the challenge was over, suddenly this song jumped onto a page. I hope you like it. Bye. 
chugga, 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 chugga. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. So, these are the songs that I wanted to show off that I've written. Now I'm going to go and do a couple of my takes on some covers. And the first one is going to be a song that was recorded by one of my favorite artists. And this guy never recorded the song that he didn't write until this song. The song was written by Charlie Fox and Norm Gimbel. And uh, it reminded the performer, Jim Croce, of his father. So he decided that he was going to record it. And it's the only song in his entire career that he recorded that he didn't write. Anybody, anybody want to guess at the song? You'll recognize it. Like a pine tree line in the winding road. I got a name. in a very, very dark hole. The first beginning of November, the first week in November, my oldest son passed away, and 30 days later, my youngest son passed away. I was in a very dark hole, 
and some friends introduced me to a song written by Rob Thomas in 2009 called Someday. I'm going to say very honestly that this song saved my soul. And I want to share it with you. Straight, tell it to me. 